What's going on guys, Tech Man. Welcome to this video. So, today's video, showing you how to put in a USB to your PS4, format it, and then extract any data that you want. So you can save some space on your hard drive, right? If it comes to videos you've recorded, you want to get rid of them, you want to save them, but you want to keep them on a USB, or maybe you want to send some application games that you have, put them on a USB, right? So it's pretty simple. Let's get to it. So what you're going to do is you're going to put in your USB, um, whatever size it might be. Mine's I have a 32 gig USB that I just bought from Amazon. I've had it. Uh, now this could be any kind of USB. Now you might get a certain error on the requirements that US, that, that uh, I guess a PS4 requires. I mean, there's a workaround that, so I'll show you how to do that. So let's say you're gonna, what you're going to do is you're going to put in your USB, go to settings, go into devices. Go into USB storage, and here's the USB storage. So, as you guys can see, mine's kind of formatted already, but I had to do it another way. It wasn't working through here. So, what you're going to be, you're going to get to this, you're going to see the USB, it's going to see your USB storage. When you're going to click on it, and you're going to say format as extended storage. Now, you might get this error, and you might not. So, if I say format extended, I'm getting this error. It says, cannot format this USB storage device as extended storage. The USB storage device that meets the following content must be used. So it must be a USB 3.0 or later. Um, to, um, 250 gigs. And mine's might be um, higher than 3.0. I don't know what it is. So, or it could be, could be wrong. I'm not really sure. So don't worry about that. So if that doesn't work, you can always just walk around it. I mean, simply just put it. What we're going to do is we're, we're going to plug it into our computer, right? So I'm going to get out of here real quick. So what we're going to do is we're going to plug it into our computer. So let me do that real quick. So we've plugged it into our computer. Uh, yeah, I guess you can go there. My PC. So here it is. So it's already formatted, but I'm showing you how to do it again. So all you guys do is right click on it, click on format. And then what you're going to do is you're going to click on, you're going to keep it as the e, you, the default is going to be NFTS or it's going to be FAT32. But you want to EX FAT, which is a little faster. Uh, now you got, you got to understand that PS4 only does these two formats. It does FAT32 and e, EX FAT. Uh, it does not do NFTS. Obviously, that's more of a Windows kind of thing. So, again, okay. format. Keep that. Uh, keep that. You're not gonna touch that. You can uh, name it whatever you want. I did PS4, and then all you're gonna do is start. Say OK. It's gonna format, and it's completed. Simple as that. After that, all you're gonna do, we're gonna plug it back in. Alright guys, so we plugged it back in. Now we're gonna go back to here. We're gonna use our controller. Now we're gonna go back now we're gonna go back to our settings. Go back to where devices are. Uh, and we're gonna click on USB storage. And now you should be able to see this. If you see stop using this USB as devices as a storage device, that means you've done it correct correctly and it's it's been formatted. So that's a good sign. So we're not going to touch any of this. That's it. We're done. Now we can just go in, extract whatever you want, put it on your USB. So what I wanted to do, example, was if I were to make a recording, uh, let's say I recorded something, and I'm very picky about editing, you guys know, I want to put it on a USB where then I can take that and put it on my PC and then make the editing. Obviously, you can use Share Factory as your editor if you like to do that that way too. I mean, you're used to it. That's fine. So, um, but... Let's say you go to library, and then what you're going to do is you're going to go to your uh, application. Then you go to game capture, capture of gallery. Obviously, that's where it is, right? That's where your recording all goes. And then from there, let's say you've made a video. Like I made this video with DJ. So I want to grab this, and I want to put it on my USB. So all you're going to do is click on the, is the option button. Click on the option button. And then you copy it to your USB device. So you can obviously you can cap, select all, and now it shows you where the path is going to be on that USB. So you say OK, and then it's going to copy it. That's it. Simple as that, guys. So you know this is the best way to basically make room on your hard drive on your PS4, um, slowly extracting them, putting them on the USB, putting them, and then putting those on a PS4. I mean, your PC. Or, you know, you can always, the best thing probably, the easiest way thing to do is probably get a huge external hard drive, format that, 
and then plug it in and just have that as your external hard drive, you know, for your PS4. That way you can just easily, you know, when you install games, you can put them onto that external hard drive without using all the space up on your PS4. So, but the only reason I'm showing you this is uh, a way of basically making editing easily on your PC if you want to do it on your PC like I would do. So, when this is done, I would just basically unplug it, put it on my PC, use my editing format software that I like to use and, you know, make it look fancy. So, anyways guys, hope you guys enjoyed this simple video of how to basically format your USB and use it for your PS4 and, and save space. I'm out, guys. Peace.